The following Evolution Archer Travel training session is brought to you by America's favorite vacation company. Everybody. Hello, everyone. Hello, Evolution family. And I want to welcome you to GS4 Geography and back to basics training on Thursday, February 13th. It's a little bit after 3 p.m. What's the matter? What? I can't move anymore. I'm oh, sorry. We're just doing a little bit. We're readjusting. Um, as you can see, we got a new look here. We're wearing our red, our Valentine red. Susie. Because it's pre Valentine's Day. Pre Valentine's Day. So we're going to do a little romantic locations today to help you guys out. Um, but first, I have a major announcement. We have breaking news. We do. Okay. This is ex um, please pay attention. This is really exciting. And, and this is going to be some really great savings for your clients. Uh, new announcement. Carnival has a special promotion for a few select agencies in the United States, and we were lucky to be one of the ones selected. This will be for bookings online only with prepaid gratuities with the rate code PWG. The savings will be substantial, but you cannot advertise the special online or on Facebook or post pricing. I will repeat that again because you guys have a tendency to kind of like go overboard. The savings will be substantial, but you cannot advertise the special online or post pricing. Have your clients call you for dramatic savings during the special promotion, which starts today and ends February 29th. For more information, visit goccl.com. Do not call Carnival. I'll repeat again. Do not call Carnival. All the information is going to be on goccl.com. On select three, four, and five day sailings, valid on new bookings only. The sailing window is February and March of 2020. So we just got this from Carnival and we're giving this out there to you. Now, I don't even know if their website's ready yet. They, we looked at it and evidently the rate code's not been loaded yet. So right. Jose's gonna give you the rate code again because yeah. this is the only way you're gonna it, find this on GoCCL.com. Right. P is in Papa, W as in Whiskey, G is in Golf. Again, it is P is in Papa, W as in Whiskey, G is in Golf. So monitor that site. Remember on, on wave season, we talked right. about how around Valentine's Day, you were going to see some specials. Here they come. Now, again, this weekend, there's going to be a lot of sales. There will be. So, uh, and we're going to even go to the Travel Cafe at one point during the day, and we'll show you some of the sales that are coming up. And Miss C's got a bunch of huge stuff coming up. So this is the time to start looking and booking for your clients. Right? Okay, and with that said, let's get back to geography. Uh, this is happy pre- This is happy pre Valentine's Look, at, isn't that red beautiful? Uh, See, I'm my red my didn't come reds, out. Okay. My, mine didn't come out. So, um, and today we're gonna visit the Caribbean with Susie as she shows us some very beautiful and romantic islands. Okay, here we go. Uh, just to reiterate on what um, Jose said, don't forget when we visited the Panorama this weekend, um, Irene gave you a code for the ones for the new panorama. So right. remember these codes, because this is how you're gonna be able to really give your customers deals that they're not gonna get anywhere else. So remember, Carnival loves us, and they give us a lot of opportunity to make sales, so. I mean, they give us special deals really, that no other agencies get, get getting, getting, okay? Just for you guys. I mean, realize that, okay? Take advantage so, of it, yeah. and use it for a selling tool. Okay. Okay, quickly, we're gonna to go to G for Geography today, just for a little pre-Valentine's. Um, we're going to visit the Caribbean again. We're going to be looking at uh, basically the three islands. But here is the Caribbean. There's a good map This here. is the Cari wait, 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 no. Caribbean, Lesser Antilles. Antilles, right. right. And that's what the area is called, Lesser Antilles, okay? So as you can see, these are really southern Caribbean islands. And uh, you're going to be going like south of Puerto Rico. Just so you know, during wave season, the way to see some of these islands is going a sailing out of San Juan, Puerto Rico, because you can hit almost one island every day. It's a very port intense itinerary, but it's a great way to see some of these islands here. So the first island we're gonna take a look at is gonna be Antigua. And here we go. We'll go to the next map to Antigua. Here's Antigua. Um, Antigua means ancient in Spanish. Um, Antigua is one of the two major islands that make up the Caribbean nation of Antigua and Barbados. 
Barba. Bar 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 Barba doll. <laughs> God. We were, we were joking about that. Wait, we were joking about that. <laughs> How you say this. <laughs> because, all right, so it when is. we get there, we'll, we'll get there. All right, so, so, so just so you know, the island is 26 miles long. Uh, a lot of these islands are fairly small. And uh, the destinations when you fly in, um, you'll go into Antigua, into St. John's. And then there's Jolly Cove, you'll come around to Falmouth, um, Nelson's Dockyard, uh, Crump Island. Um, this island has a lot of diverse des uh, things to do and see. The beaches are really nice there. And there's a ri it's ringed with coral reefs. The island is known for its many sandy beaches. So the, again, this is the first island on the way that we're gonna visit. Uh, I'm not gonna say there's a lot of hotels here, but most of them are going to be all inclusive because you are pretty remote out here. Um, beautiful destination. Now, now remember the air. Well, we talked about air yesterday, good air and bad air. Okay. And this is one of the things that you have to be aware of when your clients are departing, like on a Sunday or a Monday, the airport gets crowded, right? It does. And then remember those of us from the West, anything from the West coast, this should be an overnight flight. So you don't lose an entire day. Right. You'd rather lose a day sleeping on an airplane or whatever. But for, you know, West coast people, you don't want to get into this island at nine o'clock at no. night. It's dark. No. Um, you've, if you've in an all inclusive resort, you've lost an entire day of what you paid for all your meals and all your mm -hmm. drinks. So pretty much you've lost. But on, on the return. Okay. And, now, and listen, it gets crowded on the return because if you're coming from the West coast, you're going to either stop in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Atlanta, right. Charlotte, or anywhere. You got to give time at least three hours right about at least you three, hours three hours because they have to go through customs got to go to passport got to do all that is a whole and thing. then you know and be careful here you know don't have them going out on united and then book them on jet blue because the jet blue terminal might be four miles away from the passport area right, right? so we just have, okay so we right. have a question yeah lisa yeah. is asking are these adult only all inclusives some of them are pretty much i would say 90 percent of the all inclusives on on some of these islands are um, adults only, but there will be some. Um, I think some of the real properties, there's gonna be some properties here that will allow children. So when you're booking this, you should be using one of your suppliers and include the air. And this way you get a total price on it. And when you choose the destination, when you choose the resort, it will tell you if it allows kids, um, you have to be over 18. Uh, it'll say couples only sometimes, so be sure that you understand what you're selling if you're picking one of these resorts. Now, if you always need to answer a question like that, just go online, type in Antigua, you know, family friendly, you know, all inclusive, right. and you'll have a whole list come out, you know, so, you know, use, use the tools that you have. All right. right. And there's one other thing. Um, this is a port of call for, as I said, for, for a cruise line. And I have something really cute. I have it on today. Oh, look at that. I don't know if she could take a picture of this. Here we go. I don't know where to hold it even. Well, here, Anyways, yeah, I bought this. Look. When um, I came to the port of call in Antigua, um, right outside there's an area. Of course, they sell lots of fun stuff. But these are shells and rocks from um, the different beaches in Antigua. So I wore oh, cool. it today because I thought it was kind of How cute. much was it? It was $2.50. $45? What? You know, $45. $45. Please, sir, $45. So <laughs> it's really a fun place to go. So just remember, it is ringed with coral reefs um, and the beaches. Okay? All right. We got another question. Have another question. Yeah, Mona Lisa was asking, are you able to point out our suppliers on the island on the islands that you know of? Like, what's I guess she's asking, what do you know what suppliers? Oh, what suppliers will do this? Okay. Okay. Um, go to Vax vacations. Go, go to Vax do and you'll see. Drop down and, and you'll do, see your, it. do um, travel impressions. Do Apple vacations. Apple Those vacation Apple books vacations. this. Pleasant holidays yeah. books it. Uh, Fun jet. They they all do this. So do a little price comparison just yeah. to see because sometimes who has a contract on airfare from some of your suppliers. So I would say at least do two of your suppliers just so you get an idea of pricing. Yeah. So you're making sure that you're getting the best pricing out there to pass. And on and, and you know what's good is like when you go back in there and you go to Expedia Tap and you and you 
you know, again, research this. You're using their search engines and you're getting better at it. So go to Funjet, go to uh, uh, Travel Impressions, go to United I'm Airlines, American Airlines, and all, all those ones that are in there, okay, Southwest, because that'll help you. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, the next island we're going to be going to is beautiful St. Lucia. Oh. In, in honor of St. Valentine's Day. Okay, um, St. Lucia is on the Eastern Caribbean island nation, and there's a pair of dramatically tapered mountains that pretty much kind of divide this island. One side is of, of the mountains is the Pitons, and it's on the west coast. It has volcanic beaches, reef diving um, sites, luxury resorts, and fishing villages. The capital of St. Lucia is, Saint, is um, Castries, and it is the most one of the most popular cruise ports when you come into the Caribbean. So you fly into the international airport. Actually, they have two airports here. But Castries, if you can see up at the top, C-A-S-T-R-I-E-S, -E that's where you can see the cruise ships are actually docking there. Again, this destination has, again, beautiful beaches, mostly all-inclusive here uh, and adults only. Um, there's not a lot to do on this island. It's a great island for water activities. The resorts that are there will have, um, they'll do boogie boards. This is a wonderful place to sail. Uh, I was here and I took a catamaran um, from the resort and it went out to the, to the pitons. It was over the top. I never seen pitons before and there are these big gigantic green like mountains that just come up yeah. out of the ocean it's really something to see and there was quite a bit of sea life out there when i was there all right we got a question yes we have a few questions but the first one is what are some of the most romantic areas to travel here in st lucia or just here here we're, we're covering I don't, just, it just says okay. what are some okay, of so the most romantic do me a favor. okay uh, the person who typed that in you know Type in more, because we don't know what here is, okay? You have another question? Um, well, actually, she just didn't say here. I added that. She said, what are some of the most romantic areas to travel? Uh, where? In Europe? In North America? Well, uh, could you please elaborate on that? Um, yes. But next question is, where do we put in the code to find the promo? I think they're talking about the Carnival promo. Go to the website. It's GoCCL. GoCCL.com. Wait for the instructions. Like I said, we just got that. It was hot off the press. I don't know if the website has, has cleaned it up I don't up know if yet. it's loaded yet. But if not, then call us tomorrow, all right? And, and we'll give you that it. info if you don't see that yet, all right? Yes. And then the question that was asked earlier, earlier on the suppliers, they elaborate on it. it. They said, I meant to say hotels displayed on the map. What hotels can you point out displayed on the map? What okay. hotels? Well, we know that Sandals properties are Sandals here. Sandals is a very big Ryu properties are here. here. Um, um, I, I'm not sure if um, LeBlanc is here. Yeah. There, it'll show you when you go onto the supplier website and you choose the airfare and the dates, mm -hmm. all you know, the hotels, hotels will come will up. up. And yeah, if it's all list inclusive, all. it's very clear it says all inclusive on it. If it says European Damn. plan, Don't book it. that is not an all inclusive <laughs> uh, program. But in this case, this is probably going to be, this is a big destination for Sandals and for yeah. Rio Resorts. Yeah, and Rio Resorts. Another yeah. question? Um, Lavise elaborated on her. Here. <laughs> yes, she said she was talking about St. Lucia. What are the most romantic places in St. Lucia? Well, well, it's going to be, be along the coastal close. area. Yeah, I mean, here. I would say, yeah, you know, it's it, you know. And if you're looking for a very upscale romantic. Now, th now, th wait a minute. Okay, now this. I think is on this property that they have the uh, cabanas over the the water. This, right? this is the brand new, and I just was going to talk about the so sandals, uh, Grand Saint Lucian. This has been totally redone. Take a look at this on the website. It does offer over water bungalows and and, and that's that romantic honeymoon Very kind of much. thing there. Okay. You also have butler service here. Um, if you're looking for something very romantic and you want upscale and the, value and value, everything is included um, in the Sandals Resorts. And I believe there's Sandals three of them on there. There's Sandals Saint Lucian. Um, there's Sandals Latoc. 
and then the sandals, um, the grand. And, and you guys, shirt. and you guys train a lot in there. But now here's something that, because when we talked about this, we said instead of you know, because the clients are going to come to you and going, we want to go to Bora Bora, we want to go to Tahiti, we want to go to Fiji, we want to go, you know, so Seychelles, and, yeah. and you're going, you know, that's a high price point. You got to pay for food and and whatever when you're there. Here, it's two hours, three, four hours away from Atlanta. Yeah. Boom, you're there, and you don't have to pay for anything. You know, when you stay at an all-inclusive resort and enjoy all the amenities, and you still have that that same cabana over the water thing that they, everybody wants. If you go to the website, on the Sandals website, they have probably, I believe there's probably at least 25 categories of rooms in these resorts. Mm -hmm. And they all vary. If you have a butler service, you have your own, you have your own, um, like, like a jacuzzi pool on your patio. Yeah, yeah. This is... You need to really research, and when you sell this, look at all the different type of room categories because they vary substantially in price. And now, also in this area, okay, know your weather. No. You don't really want to be booking this in September and October. Why not, Jose? Yeah, well, because. It's for arcade season, so keep <laughs> arcade that in mind, season. okay? Right. Do not send somebody beautiful right. like this. And they're gonna... Not that it's so bad to stay inside in one of the Sandals resorts for a week, but that's probably not yeah. what they plan to do. Okay. So just remember, you know, these other water bungalows, do, uh, they deliver an immersed journey in the Caribbean's finest turquoise waters. And turquoise believe me, water. these waters are turquoise. Turquoise water, yeah. Wonderful. All right, and the last Are we going to Barbados? We're going to go to Barbados. Bar Barbados? <laughs> it's, it's, we were Is that right? Barbados? Barbados? Somebody called up and wanted we're to go to, to Barbados. Barbados. So we're, like, we're, we're actually going to Barbados. Barbados. Time, okay? Barbados. That's the um, name of it. Barbados is the Eastern Caribbean island. It's independent British Commonwealth. Uh, Bridgetown, which is the capital, is also the cruise line uh, port of call. So here's Bridgetown down here in right. the southernmost part. And when you come along here to Ragged Point, St. John's Church, this is a very easy island to get around if you take a so, look sounds, at it. It's sounds, very, look, look, but it sounds piratey, doesn't it? It's very I'll pirate, meet you at Ragged Point. Right. You know? <laughs> so this also has you know, really... Past Sam, Sam Lord's you know, Castle. Here we go. <laughs> and it has... Um, it really has a lot of um, beautiful beaches. You know, we keep saying, I keep saying beautiful beaches because until you go somewhere and see these, um, the beaches here are pristine, though. Water is that turquoise. The sand is like baby powder. So going to one of these islands, and they are fairly small, so remember when you put somebody in a destination like this that you pick a resort that they're going to have as much as possible included for them because going out to eat here is not always easy and having an all-inclusive is everything you want. You unpack your stuff once, yep. you don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, we're going to go to this restaurant, is it going to be okay, how are we going to get there, what time is it we're going to get back, so um, again, Barbados is another this like i said we just covered three of the islands in the southern caribbean so you get an idea because we're doing this for you know romantic destinations in the caribbean so keep these in mind and, and also you know you know because we, we live on the west coast and we kind of sometimes forget but like Puerto Rico and a lot of these islands are old and historic. They're very historic. They you know, and I mean, they're, time. you know, where the pirates and everybody used to hang out. And, and so it's really some really cool architecture some and very romantic. I mean, this is, you know, down here, you know, Caribbean ocean, the breezes, everything. It's really, really nice. And it's and the price point is great. So look for those sales. You know, you don't have to just do sales. You can do Ryu. You can do a bunch of other ones. You know, go into uh, into uh, Bax Vacation Access. Look at these islands, you know. Um, yeah. And use your tools. Go to, you know, go to like Google or whatever you yeah. use for, for research. For search, yeah. And just type in Barbados and it comes up. There's a great thing about history there. Mm -hmm. Some, you know, about the architect. A lot of these islands, like Jose said, are very old islands, and they've been taken over multiple times. A lot of them were owned by the Brits. Some of them were owned by the French, Scotland, the, the French, French, you name Spanish. it. So they've been very fortunate to keep their history and a lot of their their pride of who they are in these islands. And these people are really, really nice. You'll enjoy just interacting with them. They're so happy to have you there, and they treat you, let's face it, Tourism is 90% of their income, so yeah. these people really look forward to bringing 
you know, you to their island and telling you about it. They're very good when you're like on a tour or something, explaining the history of the islands. They okay. know, they're, most they of know them everything. are all natives of the island and they've got a lot of great information. They're more than happy to help you. All right, so, we have a question? One more, we have a question. Uh, we have a couple more questions. Okay. Um, someone was asking where they could obtain this map. Oh, I got this off the internet. Internet. Yeah, Just, so it looks like you got it from graphicmaps.com. Yeah, and, and, I, and I think uh, it's World Atlas, worldatlas.com. Okay, so, World Atlas. It is. Yeah, it's worldatlas.com. World Atlas, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, next question is, I'm in Florida in a couple days, and I'm a CLIA card holder. Is there deals for agents to basically hop on a cruise last minute? I... <sighs> I mean, sometimes with the coronavirus going on, I, some I, of those... I know, I know, ones. I know. Okay, look, to do that, call the cruise line. You really... But I know what you th You can't just go down to the terminal and say, no, hi, no. I'm here. Here's my I'd clear like, card. Here's my clear card. That's not like going to work. You have to go through, like you tell your customer, you have to go through registration information online. They have to clear you because you need to be on the passenger list. Right. They have to verify that you have um, proper documentation. So I mean, going just down there and saying, I'd like, it's, there's no such thing as standby. Just so no. you know that right now. That's not going to happen. You That's can't not, do that anymore, not anymore because of all the TSA rulings and <laughs> I mean, security. When we, when we went to the ship inspection, it, it was crazy. Take, I took my ID out probably four Passport, times. Passport, uh, yeah, yeah, ID. Want to see the ID right now. It's better be, you know, And then the real thing ID. is they take your picture. We yeah. didn't even stay to sail, but they took our picture, and when we got off, they took we our picture had again. A, a scan on what they did. They scanned our boarding pass and they ID'd our picture to our boarding pass to make sure we got off the ship, yeah. that yeah. we weren't stowing away, which was probably... So if you want those discounts on the CLIA, call your cruise line first, okay? And don't be thinking, oh, okay, I got a CLIA card, I can just hop on any ship. You know, I, I got an IATAN card, I can hop on any plane. And that's not how it works anymore. It used to back it in the day. To, right. But now things have changed. You know, you just can't go down to the LAX and go, oh, here, I have my IATAN card, and I want to go to Honolulu. That's not going to work like that. All right. Um, so call Clea. All right, here we have this great video, and it's about St. Lucia. So take a look at it. It's St. Lucia in 4K. Boom. Floating like an emerald teardrop between the waters of the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea is the island nation of St. Lucia. At 27 miles long and 14 miles wide, it's one of the largest of the Windward Islands. of Syracuse by early French colonists, you may be surprised to learn that this is the only country on the planet named after a woman. But then again, it will all make perfect sense once you feel the warm embrace of St. Lucia's beaches, forests, and mountains. St. Lucia has long been a place of shelter a surrounding maze of hidden coves and bays providing safe harbors throughout the ages. For centuries, the original Arawaks and Caribs made their homes around the island's northern bays. In the 1950s, the notorious buccaneer Peg Leg Leclerc became the first European to settle here. From high on his hilltop hideaway on Pigeon Island, he and his fellow swashbucklers would swoop on passing Spanish galleons. After the pirates came the plantations and the bittersweet years of sugar and slavery. Between the 17th and 19th centuries, St. Lucia was pulled back and forth 14 times between the French and British before finally gaining her independence in 1979. While the British brought their rule of law, the French blessed the island with a sense of style that mixed perfectly with the Carib and African cultures. For St. Lucia has always been a place of creation. Right in the heart of the capital, Castries, the main square pays tribute to two of the island's Nobel Prize-winning sons. 
Relax in the shade of the 400-year-old monkey pod tree and take in the soft pastels of the surrounding streets. Just across from the park, visit the basilica filled with murals that blend the colors and traditions of Africa, the Caribbean, and the West. At the Central Market, taste the fruits of this island's rich volcanic soil. Enjoy some real St. Lucian home cooking, then spend some time seeing crafts lovingly made by local hands. to the south, the creation story continues at Udivik's art studio. Watch as master carvers transform tree roots from deep in the forest into sensual works of art, a true collaboration between mother nature and man. On the southwest coast, the town of Soufre is cradled by some of the island's greatest natural treasures. There is a relaxed style here too, along the waterfront and streets of this sleepy French colonial town. St. Lucia's beauty can take your breath away and breathe new life into your soul, which is why the island is a favorite with honeymooners and lovers of all ages. Take a short boat ride from Soufre to one of the island's finest resort beaches, Anashastane. Stay right by the sands, which are caressed by the warm Caribbean ocean. Or stay high on the hill, where the island's iconic peaks of Petit and Gros Piton feel so close you can almost reach out and touch them. between these two volcanic spires is one of the West Coast's most secluded hideaways. At Sugar Beach, fine sands, crystal waters, and some of the island's sweetest views await. St. Lucia is a place of rejuvenation too. Not far from Soufre, Take a soak at Sulphur Springs and coat your body in healing mud that comes from deep within the earth. When it's time to cool down, take the Ted Paul Nature Trail into St. Lucia's high country. From here, look down upon an island of possibilities, for this is a place of endless mystery too. Shelter, creativity, beauty, rejuvenation, and mystery. These are the things that make this island so easy to love. So come and feel the embrace of one of the world's greatest islands, St. Lucia. that was St. Lucia as you can see wow it's really really beautiful um, it's so quiet and the beaches oh, and gorgeous you can see the beautiful colors that they use on so many of, now, of, of the buildings and everything it's now, really nice we have done several of these Caribbean ones mm -hmm. and because you guys go there a lot with Carnival and, and your cruise bookings and RSC I mean you guys you know only you don't only book Carnival but you use other months too but that's why we're going to be doing a little bit more of you know selective islands to show you exactly where they are and what they do and, and how you can offer them to your clients really and, and you should make the offer to them you know they say well i want to go to the caribbean so don't always automatically say oh we'll put you on a cruise talk to them and get more yeah. details what it is they like to do Find why out. are they going there you know has somebody recommended one of these islands and and recommend and tell them something about the island make them want to go there so give them a little dangle and give them just enough information don't give them too much information because they'll take it and run so just 
give them a little taste of what they can do, give them maybe a website to look at, and then run with it and follow up with your customer because once they get hooked on some of these, they will ask to go again and again. And, and it is a different can... experience, it really is. So just a little briefing here. Um, go the Caribbean islands, go for the adventure, go for the romance, go for the food, and go for the beautiful beaches. One of the most intimate elements of travel is sharing a new experience with someone you love. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Oh, wow. Isn't is she it's great? So Isn't she great? I tell you now, I'm turning the red. The danger, the <laughs> danger queen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, so check this out. Thank you. Uh, really good job, Susie. Thank really good job, guys. okay? You know, Allison Camarada here from our, from our CNN. Um, anyway, so, so look, we're going to have, we've got this uh, commercial of the Mardi Gras. It's not called the Carnival Mardi it's called the Mardi Gras. It's their first ship. Check out this new roller coaster. Hit it. Buckle up for an unforgettable ride on Mardi Gras. <laughs> the following Evolution Archer Travel training session is brought to you by America's favorite vacation company, back oh yeah that's what i always think about back to basics look at that the world and here this is where, where Susie used to sit right there but that's okay um all right hey everybody uh i want to welcome you to our second back to basics day uh evolution interactive training session today we're going to cover some more of the very first steps of agents what they should be doing as they get ready to start their personal travel businesses these back to basic training sessions will be happening every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. They're for new evolution agents, returning agents, upline, sponsors, recruiters, um, because we're always changing things. So we really want you to be aware of, you know, the new things that we're introducing and stuff, especially if you're getting reinstated again. I just spoke to a new agent today. She's been out of the program for two years. She's come back. And she's really excited. So I told her, I said, you know what you need to do is you need to go back to your uh, travel training program and go through those webinars again just to refresh your mind. So last week we covered back to basics day one. Some important information was discussed in this training. I highly recommend that new agents review these trainings and uh, please have a pen and pencil ready to take down some notes and if you have any questions you know you can ask them and uh, um, Amanda will tell me. She'll say question. Okay at the end of the sessions we'll have some time for Q&A but let's review last week okay uh, back to basics. Oh already a question. Yes. Um, will you guys be offering any marketing videos with these islands with our details on it? Like our customized marketing videos. Oh, we have those. Yeah, no, specifically, not specifically for these islands. But it, maybe. But maybe, yeah. Um, you know, I, I, don't you guys, does the media department have its own uh, web address? Uh, you can go to the Travel Cafe. And go go to the it. Travel Cafe. Why don't we do it when we go to the Travel Cafe soon? Yeah. We'll show them how to get there. Yeah, we'll show, we'll show you what we have already built for marketing videos. Not specific. We have them for the Caribbean, but not for exactly for each of those islands, right? I don't think we have them. I don't think we have one on those islands yet. But right. But we can talk we could, about yeah. making one. Yeah, we could talk about making one. Okay, um, next question. No? No, I think that was... All right, so yeah. let's go to the first slide. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Barbados. Back to basics. Day two. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right. Remember the golden rule. Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox must be used as the web browser on your system. Remember to get 100, to get the full potential power of the Evolution Travel Agent program, powered by Archer Travel. Okay, is you must have either Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox as your web browser to work the systems. So don't call me up going, I can't get into my, uh, my back office. I can't because, you know, you're on, you know, um, Internet Explorer. You also have to tell this to your clients. 
Okay, if they come to visit your website, they should be on Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Next rule, please. Mm, I still get this. I'm, I'm working it on my phone. I just sit there and go, please. Okay, the Evolution Child Agent website programs and supplier websites are not, are only fully viewed and operational on desktop or laptop computers. The websites and systems will not work on tablets, iPhones, or smartphones. It will work to a certain point, but we don't want you using that. So please use a computer or a laptop to get this stuff done. All right, next one. Back to basics. I gave you the very first steps uh, last week about the uh, Evolution Travel Agent website back office. All right, I showed you how to go there, and I, and you know there's a ton of stuff, and we're going to go to those sites here in a minute. The PTA training webinars, right? That's where your webinars are. The Akimbo card, which you should have done and and gotten that all registered, and then you had the Evolution Travel Cafe. So we're going to go to those websites right now because I, I really want to review those. So let's go first to the um, let's go to the back office. Yeah. Okay. Now look. When you sign in, the very first thing, and you sign the terms and conditions, you go to this page. I hope, because this is a lot of information, that you all had a chance to go through each of these tabs. Can you put your cursor over there? The, the quick start videos, the quick start, the quick start videos. These are videos, uh, you know, produced by uh, Evolution Agents, uh, Nick and Charles Lee, um, um, Frederick Howe, Tony Ward helping you on how to establish your MLM, multi-level marketing aspect of the program. And this is some really, really great information. All right, let's keep going down. You have, uh, you have the travel site, you have e EVO Apparel, um, and keep going down. Oh, stop, whoa, whoa. Evil Rewards. Let's stop here. Evil Rewards is back, and this is a really, really great program where you can get hotel rooms. You know, everybody's calling up, I want my travel agent discount. I want my this, my discount. It's right here is where you get it because you're getting hotels at net pricing. That's right, net pricing, non-commissionable, I mean really cheap hotels. And you can work it just like Expedia.com. So really visit that. Then you have the Evolution Perks. You know, these are uh, discounts and giveaways that you can look up on your own. Active agents by state. Let's scroll down a little bit. And let's go to convention. Let's click on that one, okay? Click on that one, let's see what comes up. All right, here it is, the 2020 National Convention. You know, it's gonna be at the Palms. This is gonna be an event that's gonna be great. Book your room today, July 15th. That first day of the convention is going to be the Travel Expo, and it is gonna be crazy. So really, really, if you wanna learn and grow in this business, networking with the BDMs, uh, a bunch of our Archer Travel people will be there, the Founders Dinner Reception, everything. This is going to be a really, really good time. It always is. So really, you know, look at this. Try to get there. I mean, Vegas agents should be there. So that's that. Um, as we scroll down, um, I wanted to get to pay card info. Let's click on that. This is important. Without this, you're not going to get paid. And that's why I wanted to touch on this again, because this is really important if you forgot this. And I know some agents who have been in the program a year and they submitted the commission tracking forms and they're having a Kimball card. I'm like, what? So can we go to click here? It's pretty easy. And if you have an issue with it, if it's like, I didn't get it, I didn't do that, da, 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 you can actually uh, scroll up a little bit on this, Amanda. You see up there, home, help, contact us. You can email them or, or, or call them if, if you're having an issue, but you need to get this card. This is imperative that you get this card, okay? So we did that. Um, now let's go back. Okay, yeah. I, you, you could, I, I want to go back to the. Uh, okay, here's the travel cafe. Again, as you can see, you got a bunch of these tabs here, and we're going to go through them, and we're going to go through some of this. But let's just uh, hold on here a second. It comes like in three sections. You have the menu, then you have the news and updates. As you can see, again, for wave season, we have an MSC Weekly, Ocean K, MSC Marine Reserve, video tour, podcast, cruise, 20% commission. I'll repeat again, don't miss 20% commission. So an MSC is going to be at the convention. You know, they're one of our preferreds. They're a great line, so get out there. On the right, you'll see we have the calendar with all of the information of our webinars and everything that's happening. Then we have some more Go Go Vacations, Let's Travel Together stuff. Um, you know, so th this is all the information. Let's scroll back up. I want to show the uh, the menu, okay, because we never really get to go through this. You have home, you have webinar and training videos. If you miss any videos or webinars, 
they're all in here. They are all in here. Live webinars, ones that you missed. Oh yeah, Irene was here the other day. Yeah, I should really look at Irene's, you know, carnival, she's the carnival BDM. You know, I should see what she said. Here's the travel cafe shop, and this is what Amanda was talking about. Go ahead, Amanda, click on that. And tell us about it. Um, so we have the travel cafe shop here. Um, you can shop for your customized videos, which was asked earlier. Um, so let's go ahead and click on this. And these are still available for you guys. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and I think they're what, like 20 bucks or something? Or? Um, you can get them for 10, you can yeah. get them for 20. And it's sometimes they have them on sale. Thing. Sometimes we have sales. So we have our Royal Caribbean ones, and there's different type of music for each. We have Destination Spotlight yeah. videos, Barcelona, Las Vegas, New York. Now, let me explain to you by personalized. It, it, it's at one point during the video, your name and your phone and your contact information comes up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really kind of cool. Or if you want to market Carnival Cruises, or if you want to market, we have Destination, Destination Weddings, Weddings, we have Costa Rica, Las I don't, I don't Vegas. Think we've, uh, we've done one on the USA travel. Um, Don and Kathy did a selfie intro. You can yeah. also do that to your videos. So let's, we can click on one. Yeah, let's let's look at this one. Das Destination Spotlight Las Vegas, which you guys book a lot, and um, and these are all available for you in the Travel Cafe shop. Ta da! Here, let's take a look at it. It's a minute long. It's time to treat yourself and head to one of the most exciting cities in the United States, Las Vegas. In this incredible city, right the there. weather is always amazing There's and an you can find right entertainment there. any hour of the day or night. Eat in world-class restaurants with celebrity chefs, play in stunning see, casinos housed in some of the world's largest hotels, and see spectacular you shows know. you can't find anywhere else. They say what happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas, but your Evolution agent has the inside scoop. With the airport located within 15 minutes of the world-famous Strip, Las Vegas is one of the most convenient U.S. destinations to visit. It's also a family-friendly city, offering experiences for all ages. If you want even more adventure, you can get outside the city for world-class hiking and rock climbing. Contact your Evolution agent and let them do the planning for you. They have the backing of Archer Travel Service, a 67-year-old travel company, so you can rest assured you're getting the most value for your money. Call today. They have access to timely specials that will end soon. Okay, so that's just like one of them that, that's in there, and we've got a whole bunch of others. Now, if you really want us to, you know, I think we had one on the Caribbean. I'm pretty sure we, we must have one. I'll look into it, uh, and maybe we'll get one uh, booked up on that. Okay, um, what else did we want to see here? Okay, again, uh, so you have the Travel Cafe shop, events. Uh, that's like the calendar, correct? Mm -hmm. Right? Then you have commissions, explaining how all the commissions work, supplier information, group booking, this is when you make a group booking and you need some uh, for group air, you go there. Forms, very important. Forms is, you should be looking through this and, and resource, let's go to resources and FAQ. Can we go to that one? I mean, cause we, we put so much information for you guys. I mean, it's crazy, it's crazy. All right, just waiting for resources to load up here. Okay, look, agent tools, let's go up to agent tools. Just click on that, see? Perks of a travel agent, travel market report, 60 way to make you, you know, when you're looking for marketing and, and, and you know, information and ideas, look here. Becoming a travel agent, the CIA world fact book, uh, you know, the State Department travel warnings, TSA information, TSA pre-check information, all this stuff is here. The Smart Travel Enrollment Program, you guys know I'm a big fan of that. So you've got all this stuff to look through. I mean, you know, that way you familiarize yourself with it. Okay, so we went through that. Now I want to go back to the back office. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what your next step of day two is. Okay. I know that's a lot of information. You know, you've done all the webinars, right? And you've gone through all these tabs and, and you feel pretty secure. Your next thing to do, um, can we go to travel training program first? Because I, I did want to touch here for a second. Okay. This is going to happen after you end this. Next week, we're going to talk about what happens in this video. Congratulations, new evolution agent. So if you want to go in there and see what's going to happen for next week, because that is really the, the, the source of your foundation. So after you finish all your webinar training, this is what happens. The page becomes, ta -da, and you see download your certificate of completion, and then you see this box. 
if you want to, you if you you know if you're a new agent, go in here and explore, okay, and and listen to what the guy says because there's some important information in there. Let's go back to the menu, please. Okay, what you should be doing day two is maybe reviewing that that webinar, and let's go to my travel site, which should be, uh huh, okay. This is what you're going to see first. You have to register your travel site, and it's pretty easy. You click here. Register here. I don't know why we get phone calls. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Register here. When you click that, it'll, it should send you to the next uh, slide, right? Let's click on that. It'll go there. That's right. It'll go there. Now, it'll say to you here, are you already registered? Or you start logging in with the agent registration and you register with your website. Now, let me show you, once you completed it, what it should look at, like, okay? Now we're going to go to uh, evotravelagent.com forward slash Jose L. Oh, not your dashboard? Just, just the Evo Travel Agent? Yeah, just the Evo Travel Agent. Yeah, I, I want to show them that. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is your evotravelagent.com website. Now, after you've registered and you put a photo in, you've worked on the bio and all that, it's three parts. Okay, so I want to go through this one. The first one, as you can see, is your contact information with your photo, little bio, uh, where to contact your phone number, um, client, photo gallery, you know, the pictures of me and Puerto Vallarta, my travel blog, and here's some articles here. If you want to do the travel blogging, we do have that available for you agents. I just had a couple of agents email me today that want to do that. That's handled by uh, Jessica Parsons. Now, in the second part, what you see here is the travel specials. Uh, that these change every couple of months, computerized, but they can book this. Now, be aware, as you refer your clients to this site, everyone's like, well, what if they want to buy something? And I don't know, okay, the majority of this of these bookings that you do here first have to be email verified. In other words, if you want to continue, uh, Mr. Client, on booking this, if you're interested, you know, the travel agent will be in contact with you. They'll see the pricing. They'll see like, here, I'll show you. Let's go to um, Bahamas and Puerto Plata Cruise. Can we see that one? Um, Amanda, it's the third one listed. Let's click there. See, as you can see, it explains the cruise, the average per night. It's Bahamas, it's celebrity cruises. Um, and then if you scroll down, contact me about this special. See, so you put in the name, da -da, and that email automatically goes to your contact information. So you would call, hey, Mr. Klein, I heard that you were interested in that celebrity cruise, da 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 da, -da. Okay, and then you get the booking. All right, let's go back to the page. All right, so below that is Jose's recommended specials, and you can actually change that when we go into the dashboard, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. Now, to the right of that, in the third column here, in that great box that starts with flights, hotels, and cars, that is your fare grabber. Now, you know, you want to refer customers, clients, family members, potential clients to your website using Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. So let's say you're out of town, or let's say you're sleeping, and you know, one of your clients goes, you know what, I need a flight tomorrow and I'll rent a car. They can actually go into your fare grabber in flights, hotels, and cars, fill that in, hit, you know, check now, keep going, and they will purchase that. Now, the ticketing has to happen from our office. We will let you know, but you get an automatic email response that, whoa, somebody was in your fare grabber last night. They booked from, you know, LAX to Newark, New Jersey, and they got to rent a car. Oh, okay. All right, so you'll get that. And also your client will get an email verification. And we get the final ticketing. Uh, Peggy does the final ticketing. They get the, here's the final email with your e-ticket information. So that's that. Now, on top, you say it says travel resources, cruises, air, car, hotel, contact, login. All right, all that stuff you should be doing. Now, look, if you see above the photo, here's something else that's really kind of cool. If you have people that are interested in becoming an agent, you want to build your team, there it is right above where it says meet your agent, interested in becoming an agent. Then there's even an evolution video there that you can click on to and you can show them that. Let's go to login and let's go into the dashboard. You do that by clicking up on login up in the right-hand corner. I hope you guys don't know my password. <laughs> Here's your dashboard, okay? And when you register, this, this, this is really important. This page is so important, all right? Because it has, it has the one important element of it. 
So you got to make sure that you can get in here, okay? The dashboard here is your pro. Yeah, we have a que question. Um, I don't know if it's a question or a comment, but it says when the client picks a special, it doesn't say which special selected. When we as the agent get the email, please be advised. This needs to tell us which special they are. It talking. should. It should tell you. That would be like if if, if if a client is looking on something. Well, you know what? I tell you what. Whoever that person is, email me an example of that. Okay. Forward an email. Forward an email to me about that. Okay, and that way I'll take a look at it. But it should, it, that should, that information should be coming to you with the special on it. That's why it's set up that way. All right, the evolution uh, travel. Okay, here's where you do your profile, how to change your password, click your edit, how do you do your photograph, all that. Now, again, a bunch of tabs here on the left hand side. You got my booking portal, which will click you back to your evotravelagent.com website. Admin, you don't have that. Um, I have that because I'm admin. <laughs> you have the fair grabber. You can actually go to the fair grabber. You have the user guide, which explains how to work the dashboard. Edit profile, frequently asked questions. Your photo gallery, you can upload photos of your trip to Vegas or where you went to you know, uh, Cancun and put that up there that you can be seen. Video upload, you can even do video upload. Recommended specials, can we go to the recommended specials? So let's say that you don't like the special that we have there and you want to do like a Carnival Cruise, uh, let's say it's uh, Sean Rutledge in Baton Rouge, and he wants to uh, market uh, a cruise out of uh, New Orleans, because they have a cruise terminal in New Orleans, and he wants to do like a, you know, a four or five nighter out of there, or Galveston, close to, you know, he, you can put that information in there, and this is how you can do that. You can actually change that special. Let's keep going down. Subscribers, supplier request form. The, this we need that sometimes you know to get your vax and you get your everything else okay let's keep scrolling down now now we get into the real big ones paid commissions submitted commissions these are your commission trackers this is you can actually go in here and see okay did i get paid for that cruise when is my next commission going to happen if you have any you know questions or anything you can actually do that uh, no we're on subscribers can you click on uh, paid commissions that's subscribers oh is that okay next one is submitted commissions and then the next one is the is the granddaddy of them all let's click this this is your money without this you do not get paid it's the commission tracking form i'm telling you after you've completed your booking immediately do this do not wait i don't know how many oh yeah man you know i booked that cruise about a month ago did you do it? No. Why not? Well, I, I figure I'd get around to it. That's your money. That's why you're in this business. Now look here. If you have a group booking that says, please click here. Okay? You, we even have a tutorial on how to use this. For video tutorial, please click here. So this is really important. All right? And let's go down. Please choose the type of travel. Was it a cruise? Was it a bundle package of hotel and land? Was it car only? Was it hotel only? Was it travel insurance? Was it activities? You know, like excursions and things to do in Expedia Tap? Was it, you know, long rail? Was it Europe, uh, rail Europe? We, we, you know, and there's all the information. Right now it's set up on cruise, right? Activities and rail. Oh, right, activities and rail, okay. Um, so yeah, now, so let's say you do this and you know, two, three months happen and you haven't, still haven't gotten your money. Let's go back to the menu and what you see right below commission tracking form is where's my commission? Where is my commission? You fill this out, okay? And send this in, submit it, and we'll, we'll get back to you with the information that you need, okay? Now, if we go back here to the menu, you see here it says back office, travel cafe, contact, that'll take you back to the travel cafe or the back office and contact us. Okay, so um, we've done that, yes. Uh huh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yes, yes. Question. Question. Uh, just tuning in. Upon changing my website name, is there a fee, and does it change instantly? Uh, I'm sorry. What was that? Upon changing my website name, is there a fee, or does it change instantly? Um. Well, to change your evotravelagent.com, that that stays the same. But forward slash, you could change after that, and there's no charge for that. You can just call me, and I'll change it for you. Now, on the evolution side, I don't know. On myevolutiontravel.com, 
forward slash whatever. I don't know about that. That you'd have to talk to uh, your your uh, web messenger in your back office and ask them if you can change that because I, I can't touch that. Can't touch it. Yes. Um, I submit. I submitted a commission for my hotel booking and did not notice commission amount wasn't added. What happens to that? Okay, how long ago was it? Or, you know, here you got, you know what guys, here's another, uh, if you have a thing about commission, you can always email eboCommissions at archertravel.com. That's eboCommissions at archertravel.com. Now, if you, you know, I need more information. What were the dates? Who did you book it with? What's the booking number? We, you just don't say, well, I had a hotel booking. I mean, was it Expedia Tap? What was it? Where did you book it? Well, how many, you know, how many months ago was it? What was the reservation? Was it three nights, four nights, five nights? Uh, call us, or even call us. You know, we can help you, all right? Any other questions? No? How do you add a video to our evil travel, travel agent dashboard? Okay, let's go to video upload. Ba boom there you go. Marketing videos. So like, let's say you purchase those videos that I showed you in the, in the travel cafe shop and you can just follow these instructions. If you have any issues or problems, you know, call us and we'll help you. That's why we have, you know, uh, you know, IT and all that. You can choose the file. There it is right there. There's the information. Now, again, you want to be using a laptop or a desktop computer. Don't call me up going, I can't market my video on my phone because it's not going to work on your phone. This is what I'm talking about. Not enough bandwidth to put all this type of information that you have. If you guys notice, these websites are huge. Agent Universe is huge. You know, Max Vacation Access is huge with, you know, you know, search engines and videos and you know, just all kinds of stuff. You can't be using it on, oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. oh, well, it's not working. Okay, yes? Do we get paid from Hilton off of Agent Universe? <laughs> Do we get paid from Hilton? No, not from Agent Universe. You know, you'd have to get paid from here. We pay out the commission here for you. If you book Hilton through their travel agent website and you booked it and you give us a commission tracking form, then we will pay you your commission from here. Or let's say you book Hilton and Expedia Tap. Yeah, and you fill out a commission tracking form, we will pay you that. But if you purchase Hilton at Agent Universe, I guess you could, yeah. The Hilton's listed there. You give us, if you booked it through their travel agent site, you give us the booking reservation number. Yep. Yes. Um, the person said they booked through Expedia Tap almost a month ago, but I think people don't understand that they don't get paid out until 60 to 90 days after the travel occurs. So even if you booked it a year in advance, you're not going to get paid until after the travel occurs. Now, I know, yes, and, and I know sometimes there are some agents that, oh, I got my commission earlier than I was going to. General rule of thumb. General rule of thumb. You know, I, I always used to say 45 to 60 days. If you got a cruise that went out, like a cruise is going out August 15th, you're not gonna see that cash or that commission until maybe October 1st. So be aware of that, you know, um, and why? Well, because people could have canceled between now and then. So, you know, be aware of that. I, you know, I, I think I would really like to get somebody in here and maybe talk about commission someday. We got a bunch of stuff to talk about. Um, one of them is commissions I wanted to talk about, and the other one was, I forget, I forget now. And it was on the tip of my head. It was on the tip of my head. All right, uh, anything else? Oh, another question. Um, will we have access to download our commission tracking form to sort by client departure date? What? What's that? I'm sorry? In the future, can we have access to download our commission tracking form to sort it by client departure date? I'm, I'm lost at that. It's why would you want to download that? Or you help me. You, you tell me. Um, it seems like she's asking if they, if in the future, will have the commission tracking form by departure date, ordered by departure date. No. Why would you want to do that? No. You don't want to do that. You don't want to. Again, and, and the reason why is because, it, okay, if, if you're saying, I want it downloaded on the date of, of travel. Date of travel might be October 10th. You know, um, no, and, and you forgot about it. Between now and October, you know, we're, we're, in, we're in February right now, or let's say even three months. 
You know, you want to have all that information because you don't want to lose. Let me tell you what you need for the commission tracking form. You need the email verification from Expedia, the email verification from Carnival, all that information you need to put into that commission tracking form and then you hit submit. And if you don't have those emails and if you lose those emails, guess what? They're going to be hard to get back again. So really what you should be doing is at the end of the booking, as soon as you make the booking, guess what, Mr. Client, here's your credit card back. Good. Uh, yeah, you're going on that cruise. Ba 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 Commission tracking forms. Get it out of the way. And what happens when you do submit that, you get an automatic response from us that we got it. If you didn't, if you don't get an automatic response from us, any an automatic email, then something went wrong then call us, okay? Don't be waiting on, oh no, I wanted to download it until the day of travel. Why? Get it in there right away, yes? How long does it take for the hotel to release commission for us to receive our portion? Okay, that every hotel chain is different. Hilton is different from Sheridan. Sheridan is different from Marriott. Marriott's different from, you know, uh, Fairmont. Holiday Inn, they're all different. Same thing with the cruise lines. The cruise lines are we're waiting for that commission to come in from the supplier. Now, one of the things on this, you know, and as you guys know, because I get some group people that go out of the system, you know, then, you know, they go, well, how come I didn't get it from that hotel? You got to work with that hotel to get pull that commission in, right? Because we're, we can't, we, we have, there's almost 7,000 of you guys out there, so it's a lot. All right, um, all right, let's go back to that. That's the last one. For help and assistance, this is it. Contact us. Contact us. There's all the information. If you've got any questions, you need anything answered, any help at all, boom, right there. And you guys should know that, all right? One more question. One more question. Um, is Booking.com one of our suppliers? What's that? Is Booking.com? Nope. Nope. Now, look, you guys, <laughs> remember, and I think we talked about this last week, don't try to bend out of the thing going, well, my client wants it for $200. I'm sorry, but the Fairmont Hotel in Santa Monica is not going to be for $200. Booking on my website so. <laughs> Look, I've shown you guys in the trainings, you know, the, the online travel agencies, what they're worth. You don't want to be booking that. You don't. You don't want a client going, well, I, I, I put up my $250 and I got to the hotel. They didn't have my booking. Why? Because you went on some ding-dong thing. I mean, I had somebody call me the other day about, yeah. They went down to Cancun for $250 and they got mad. Why? Because they went down there and they were hounded for a week to buy timeshares. And it was timeshare and they, they never got a chance to go to the beach because it was constantly in marketing, marketing, marketing to buy the timeshares. So don't think, oh, it's cheap. Da, da, da. Don't. Do it right. Do it right. You know, show your clients how to do it right. All right? That's it. Okay. Have a great day. Uh, what, what do I say? Uh, Book a lot of travel, <laughs> right? Book a, enroll a lot of agents. I'll see you next week. What? And call, call us for your first booking. Ask for Jose if it's a booking so you, he can tell you what to do for your first booking. We don't want you to do it wrong. Oh, we that's right. That's right. You. Yeah, oh, that's right. Listen, for your new agents, for your first four or five bookings, please call us. Please call us. Speak to me or Susie or somebody here in the office, okay? We'll show you because we want to make sure that you're, you're, you're pricing right, especially cruises. Cruises can be tricky, so we want to make sure that you, uh, that you do. Now, meaning that we're in wave season, I'm going to tell you what we're doing next week, and it's going to be kind of fun. Next Wednesday, Peggy's going to be back in the house. Yay! And you all love Peggy. Peggy's going to be back in the house, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to go into the innards of Carnival, and we're going to show you how to book a cruise, okay, for a wave. All right, see you guys. Have a great week. Bye. The following Archer Evolution Travel Session is brought to you by Carnival Cruise Lines. Fun for all, all for fun. Carnival Cruise Lines.